Damn, it's been a while since I did a review. Well, what's going on guys? It's your boy Joel TFD here. Welcome back out again with a brand new review for you guys today. The reason why I say it's been a while is because I haven't recorded one in a while, all right? I, I know I've been uploading reviews, but it's been a while since I recorded one. But I'm actually generally excited because today we're doing the review of The Defenders. Such a good show, man. It is such a good show. I cannot wait to talk about it with you guys. I do have a few things to say about it, but before we do, just want to say really quickly, make sure you join my Discord server. And also make sure you hit the button and subscribe to the channel for new. I'm trying to get to 750 subscribers before the end of the year. It will really mean a lot if you guys can reach that goal. Anywho, let's head straight into the Defenders review. Oh, so, uh, I really like it, man. Huh, okay, so, uh, well, first things first, I do want to say really quickly that I love what they did with Iron Fist in this show, honestly. I feel like it's 100%, like, it, it, they did so much better than the first season, in my personal opinion, of Iron Fist. I love every single character, don't get me wrong, but I just felt like Iron Fist generally had, like, some type of, like, I don't know how to really describe it, but, like, I, I, I just felt like he was a lot better here than he was in his first season of Iron Fist. And I really hope that in season two, that it kind of takes off from here on in some type of way. But I wouldn't be surprised if it isn't, honestly. But, man, another thing, too, that I really liked was the freaking score for the intro. Because, honestly, I think it has to be my favorite score out of all the shows, in my personal opinion. Because, man, just the whole, oh, man, it's such... It's so good, I really did like it. There's like a couple of times I didn't skip the intro just because I was like, yo, I want to be invested in this, honestly. It's such a good score, honestly. I really did like how they all kind of connected to, in some type of way, to Midland Circle. How they all met met up and everything. I thought it was pretty cool, especially with that hallway scene when they were fighting. I thought that shit was awesome, man. But, lecture, bro. <laughs> bro, I know Electra was going to come back, but like, damn, bro. She's still so freaking fine bro oh. okay whoa, whoa whoa sorry 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 but man no i, I gotta be honest though like this show is really good honestly like like all the points that i just came across right now honestly definitely like it's still valid i really do like how they all kind of intertwine honestly in this show and how each of one of them have their kind of like own chemistry in some type of way i feel like we didn't get enough luke and daredevil though in my personal opinion or jessica jones and iron fist you know i felt like we kind of got a lot more of like daredevil with jessica jones obviously daredevil with iron fist we got more of jessica jones with luke and jessica jones with daredevil iron fist we got i I don't think Iron Fist was more with anyone, if I'm gonna be completely honest. Like, he was kind of like the key for the hand, if that makes sense. So, it does make sense that he wasn't really close with any of them, if that makes sense. But, I really liked how, like, in the end, in the finale, that Matt told Iron Fist that, like, basically to protect the city. I thought that was actually a really cool thing, honestly. And it gave him, like, motivation to kind of stay in New York, because at the end, he was kind of like, oh, yeah, uh, I do consider New York as home. So, it was actually pretty cool to see that, honestly. But, man, I remember seeing that ending, and I was like, yo, what the heck? I felt like if I didn't know that there was a season three, I would have definitely, like, been like, oh, shoot, like, he died. But at the end, he they revealed that he was still kind of, he was still good, but he was like freaking damaged as hell. I kind of like at the end too, that like Luke kind of reminds Jessica that she has friends, you know, because Jessica has always been the type to kind of close everyone out in some type of way. And I kind of like that Luke kind of gave her a little bit of the spirit to kind of do her stuff, if that makes sense, to continue what she was doing. And like, especially at the end when she saw Marvin, I think that's his name. She was kind of like, yeah, we're gonna reopen. And then like kind of took down the paper from her door. I thought it was really cool. I like how everyone has like a little bit of their motive now in some type of way, especially with Matt's quote unquote sacrifice. So it definitely like helped them kind of pave the way in some type of way. I really liked how all, literally everyone was in the show besides Hogarth. Honestly, Ward and uh, what's her name? Joy. I liked how everyone was in it, honestly. I thought it was actually pretty cool to see all that happen, you know? This is the end of the hand era, so I wonder what's gonna happen next, honestly. I think the next show I'm gonna watch is Punisher, if I'm not mistaken. But man, I cannot wait, honestly. I cannot wait to head to the Punisher series. I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure it is the Punisher series. Man, this is crazy. I actually am pretty excited. But yeah, that is going to be the end of my Defenders review. If you guys did enjoy the video, make sure you hit the but I'll also subscribe to the channel if you're new. Let me know what you guys think of this season or show. Sorry, uh, it was this season. Peace out, guys. So enjoy your day. Make every day an awesome day. Everyone stay positive. Be positive, guys. Already know to have a positive mindset. Peace.